In 2019, a Patek Philippe Grandmaster Chime reference 6300A-010 sold at auction for a mind-boggling $31.19 million at a charity auction held in Geneva. Only seven pieces of the watch were ever produced, breaking the record of the world's most expensive watch ever sold at auction. It is crazy for a person to sink such a crazy amount of money to buy a watch. Or is there something about Patek Philippe that makes it worth it? We'll get to the bottom of it. To understand this, let's take a look at the history of the famous watch-making business. Patek Philippe may be the world's most exclusive watch manufacturer today, but it had very humble beginnings. It all started with a Polish refugee named Antoni Norbert de Patek. Antoni was born in Piaski, Poland in 1812. He grew up under harsh conditions in a country ravaged by war. When he was 16 years old, he joined the Polish cavalry and later fought in the Polish-Russian War, receiving the Virtuti Militari, Poland's highest military decoration, for his acts of heroism. However, Antoni had to flee Poland when tensions intensified. He settled in Geneva, Switzerland. In Geneva, Antoni became obsessed with the history of watchmaking. He soon got acquainted with François Zapek, a Polish watchmaker. On May 1, 1839, they formed Patek, Zapek, and C. The company was successful, but after a while, Francois and Antoni stopped seeing eye to eye on a lot of things. So Francois left the company. In 1844, Antoni met Jean Adrien Philippe, a French watchmaker at an exposition. Jean came from a family of watchmakers. At the exhibition where Antoni met him, he displayed a groundbreaking invention a mechanism that allowed pocket watches to be wound without a separate key. He received a gold medal at the exhibition and ended up joining Antoni's company as the technical director. Antoni, Jean and a third partner, Vincent Goskowski, formed a new company under the name Patek and C, which they renamed Patek Philippe and C in 1851. In 1877, Antoni, who had been suffering from anemia, passed away. His son, Leon, was not interested in taking over his father's position, and he sold his rights for a yearly payment of 10,000 francs, which would turn out to be a huge mistake. Business was booming for the company in the following years. The partners combined their expertise to create some spectacular pieces, winning awards and performing at exhibits. The company's influence became so much that the brand, Patek, became synonymous with excellence in the watchmaking industry. Jean handed over his position to his youngest son, Joseph Emile Philippe, in 1890. He passed away after two years. In the 1930s, the company found itself in a deep financial crisis due to the Great Depression. This is where Charles and John Stern enter the picture. The brothers already had a dial production company called Cadron Stern Freres, and by 1932, they bought Patek Philippe from Anthony and Joseph Philippe, but decided not to change the name, which was a shrewd business strategy because of the brand value associated with Patek Philippe. The company has remained in the Stern family till date. Patek Philippe watches are some of the most coveted watches worldwide. Its highly intricate, specialized design, which sometimes take up to two years to complete, are usually released in small batch, limited editions. Naturally, they cost an arm and a leg. Here are some of the most coveted Patek Philippe watches in the world. Nautilus Rose Gold Chronograph Created in 2020, the Patek Philippe Nautilus Gold Rose Chronograph is best described as a study in grandeur and simplicity. It is made from 18 karat rose gold and it has a double fold over clasp. It has a black face with raised gold applied luminescent markers as well as a self-winding automatic movement. Its simple yet grand design features a chronograph subdial at 6 o'clock and a date display at 3 o'clock. All of this makes the watch worth $265,099. Next, we have the Nautilus Travel Time Chronograph Tiffany. This luxurious timepiece was developed in Hong Kong in 2018 in a project where Patek Philippe partnered with Tiffany. The relationship of both brands can be traced back to 1851 when Antoine met Charles Louis Tiffany in his quest to partner with for the world's most exclusive retailers fit to sell his products. The watch is a special edition Tiffany & Co. and Nautilus product encased in a steel case with steel bands. It is an automatic self-winding unisex masterpiece that costs just $276,780. Moving on to the Grand Complications Perpetual Calendar. 
With about $693,000, you can get yourself a Patak Philippe's perpetual calendar timepiece, featuring a tourbillon, a minute repeater, a perpetual calendar, and a retrograde date display. This wristwatch is a reimagination of the brand's most iconic grand compilation models. Unlike the earlier grand compilations, this one has a slightly bigger case made from 18 karat rose gold. It is modeled after the 1830s Calatrava 96 timepiece. The Grand Complications Minute Repeater Patak Philippe's Grand Complications Minute Repeater costs about $1.9 million, according to the company. They created this watch in 2019, explicitly for connoisseurs of striking watches. The most striking thing about the watch is its open architecture that allows the minute repeater mechanism. It features hammers and gongs that the wearer can see in action and a manually wound movement. All these exquisite features are encased in a red gold case with white gold intercia, engraved with foliage motives. The Grand Complications Sky Moon At the top of the list we have Patak Philippe's $2.6 million Sky Moon Turbion. The wristwatch was developed in 2017. It is double-faced with unique mechanisms including 12 complications and 705 parts. It features an exquisite hand-engraved case in white gold, a dial-in cloison, and a champlevé enamel. Are you enjoying the video so far? Let us know by giving us a like and subscribing to this channel for more business case studies and business stories of luxury brands. Watch as we explore the most interesting facts about Patak Philippe and determine whether its exorbitant prices are justified or not by comparing it to another giant of the watch industry. To buy a Patak Philippe, you must go through an application process. Patak Philippe is unlike other luxury watch brands that you can just walk into a store and buy or order online. You have to show that you are wealthy enough to own one, or as the company says, take care of one for the next generation. A custodian of a Patak Philippe must be found worthy in status and prestige, much like, you know, how a wand chooses its rightful owner and not the other way around. Another interesting fact is that every part of a Patak Philippe watch is hand-finished. The company's expertly trained employees work painstakingly on each product that goes into the market, adding a personal touch to each timepiece. It is no surprise that the manufacturing process takes so long. It takes about 1,035 Patak Philippe employees to manufacture a single watch from start to finish. The level of attention and care that goes into producing one Patak Philippe watch is something that makes it stand out among other luxury watches. Patak Philippe's wealthy clientele features some of the most powerful, wealthy, and influential people in history. Among them is Pope Pius, Victor Emmanuel II, Queen Victoria, Paul McCartney, Brad Pitt, Jay-Z, Pablo Picasso, Walt Disney, Nelson Mandela, Prince Charles of Wales, and John Mayer. If a Patak Philippe finds its way to your hands, you know you are in the league of some of the most iconic figures in history. Speaking of iconic people who have owned a Patak Philippe, here's another fact. In 1915, Albert Einstein ordered a Patak Philippe gold pocket watch. That was the same year he completed his theory of general relativity. So you know it's serious business when Patak Philippe talks about the heritage of its watches. Now let's see how a Patak Philippe watch is different from other luxury watch brands like Rolex. Patak Philippe does not advertise its watches. It advertises classy timepieces and family heirlooms with more value than can be monetarily quantified. One of the brand's slogans is, you never actually own a Patak Philippe, you merely look after it for the next generation. The thing about Patak Philippe is, you don't see many random people sporting a Patak Philippe timepiece like you would a Rolex. No, Patak Philippe is reserved for the top 1% of the richest 1% of the world. These people value the prestige associated with owning a Patak Philippe and not the coolness associated with brands like Rolex. This is not to say a Rolex is not a masterpiece in its own right. The brand sits at the number one spot on the list of most recognized and valuable Swiss watch brands worldwide. But the most expensive Rolex ever sold, a $17.8 million Rolex Daytona worn by Paul Newman, pales in comparison to the $31 million Patak Philippe Grandmaster Chime. Patak Philippe, while less flashy and popular than Rolex, has a heritage of over 178 years and boasts much deeper roots compared to Rolex's 117 years. 
We can see the difference between the two brands by taking a look at the customer base of the two brands. Patak Philippe's clientele in the last two decades has included Fortune 500 CEOs, top C-suite executives, billionaires, and royalty. On the other hand, Rolex's flashy brand image makes its clientele mostly Hollywood actors and actresses, musicians, top athletes, and basically anyone who has achieved any form of relative success. Patak Philippe's exclusivity, brand message, and rich heritage are the top reasons why it is more expensive than Rolex. The company only produces about 50 to 60,000 watches a year because of the complexity of its designs, which can take between 9 months to 2 years to complete. Rolex produces about 1 million watches per year. The demand still significantly outweighs supply, but Patek Philippe is only available to a tiny market in comparison. Nonetheless, both watches are top of the line in luxury and class. Everybody wants a Patek Philippe or a Rolex, but to get one, you need to be making a lot of money. Check out the description below for bonus content that will teach you how to make enough money online to buy a Patek Philippe. Just click the link to get started. Now moving on to the important question, is Patek Philippe's price justified? So we know a Patek Philippe watch costs a fortune, but is it really worth it? Patek Philippe is a brand that thrives off extreme exclusivity, but in terms of popularity, other brands like Rolex far outrun it. Rolex has been able to carve a place for itself in pop culture, and we can see many references to the brand in rap songs like I just wanna rolly 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 with a dab of ranch I already got some designer to hold on my pants Also, the resale value of a Patek Philippe may not be as high as other brands. We'll use a Rolex as an example here again. One of the things that makes a product's value appreciate is the sentiment people attach to it. For example, if you got your hands on a $10,000 Rolex, in the next one or two years, the price might have doubled because a Rolex is a more famous sign of luxury than a Patek Philippe. And of course, if you happen to get your hands on a Rolex, maybe James Bond wore once. You're sitting on a gold mine. So wouldn't a small collector opt for a Rolex rather than a Patek Philippe? On the flip side, consider that Patek Philippe is not just a watch brand, it is a revolution. The company has pioneered some of the most groundbreaking milestones in the industry that are still being used by many other companies today. Patek Philippe has over a hundred patents to its name. One of these discoveries is the Cal.89, a movement that comprises of 1,728 unique parts and 39 complications. The Perpetual Calendar is also one of the company's innovations, as well as the hand-winding two-hand watch and the minute repeater. So if you're looking for a watch that is not just aesthetically pleasing but also works excellently, you can't go wrong with a Patek Philippe. Also, Patek Philippe takes very good care of its customers. One of the perks of buying their product is that you get archival extracts and other materials that help you know more about the watch you're wearing. Buying a Patek Philippe is like buying into an exclusive club of the wealthiest and most cultured people. But ultimately, it all boils down to what kind of watch you prefer. Patek Philippe's customer base is much more different from some other brands' markets, so they have an entirely different market approach and business strategy. If you like this video, then check out this video where we break down Rolex's business strategies and business models.